Hi, I'm Andres from Bioaquatics. Today we're going to talk about uh, breeding neons. Neon, they come from Colombia, Peru, and Brazil. Right. So, uh, Neon Tetra is uh, probably the most popular aquarium fish in the world today. It's been popular for almost over 50 years. It is a very colorful, vibrant little fish that is peaceful, uh, lives in the school, small numbers, big numbers in the, in the fish tank. It, it, it schools all around the tank, you know, not necessarily just in one side of the tank. It's, it's an all around fish, so it's not like a catfish that lives at the bottom or some kind of rainbow fish that's only on the surface. It would just, it's an all around everywhere fish. It could fit in a small one gallon tank or a two gallon tank. Uh, up to a 200 gallon tank, it doesn't matter. So it's a all around very perfect side out fish to the aquarium trade. He pulled up in his red Corvette, salmon shorts and a white Because the fish is such a high demand and uh, such a request for the fish in the aquarium trade, the uh, aquaculture was developed for it. And in order to have an, an aquaculture product, you have to be able to uh, produce a fish uh, consistently, continuously, and so that you fill up your demand. And it's a business, so aquaculture is a business, so it has to be, you want to control your production. Because of all these requirements, uh, a lot of research has been done on how to induce that specific fish to spawn. So and that's where it comes down to the, the drop of acid in the tank. It basically, it's a drop in pH. And that was pretty much what uh, Hong Kong really worked on uh, 50 years ago or longer. They were the major producer of uh, neons, the first major producer of, of uh, neons. And they did a lot of work on it. And over the years, you know, other farms started working on them. And even to this day, there's not enough farms producing neons. There's still uh, neons coming out of the wild. You can get neons out of the wild, but they don't do as well in the tanks. They, they, the, the water requirements are a little different. Their food requirements are a little different, and they had to go from a wild-caught environment, so a lot of handling, you know. So the 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 the, the, the aquarium raised neons, or the farm raised neon, does really well for the aquarium trade overall. Um, a lot, they're more adaptable to the regular common aquarium water. Uh, feeding the foods and then uh, they even in bigger in size a lot of the wild ones are not as big as the farm raised so they're, they're, there's an advantage in, 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 in buying a uh, farm raised meal so neons breed uh, at sunset so when the lights go down Number one step in uh, breeding any tropical fish is uh, the conditioning. Neons, they require uh, 75 degrees, pH is 7.5, and, a half, and uh, temper uh, conductivity of uh, uh, 6 to 10 grains of hardness or 5 to 600 uh, microsiemens. So that would be the beginning. You're going to breed neons in a small container by pairs. You're going to require, I use critter cages. These are one gallon critter cage. I cut a screen to size. I fit it at the bottom so I can bow it and there's a space on the bottom. I use a brush, whatever brush, and, uh, and a lid. So you've set up your tank. Now you've got to put uh, breeding water in there. So for the breeding. So it's going to need to be 77 to 79 degrees. One to two grains of hardness, so softer water. pH is seven. And then you're gonna put 
one drop of muriatic acid in the tank before you put your fish. So after that all done, you put your pairs because you've got to put a male and a female in the tank and then that's your setup.